uh, some tweaks that I have that I thought were pretty cool and I'd share with you. So let's get right into it. The first one, as you can see, uh, the icons, they're glowing and doing that animation. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, it's called, um, it's called Glowboard. It's a pretty neat app. So let me go into settings and show you Glowboard. And, uh, it's pretty cool. All you do is enable it and then you go to options and display on dock, display on folders, display on switcher, animate glow, animate notifications, and all this other stuff, the active color, uh, adaptive, and bounce dock, and all this other stuff, and then you can make it so that some apps don't have the effect, so yeah, then I put it on adaptive, so now it's adaptive. The next week is um it's called status weather bar or something. It's right here up at the top. I'll zoom in for you if I can. If I figure that out, but it's right up at the top. It shows the degrees. You can put it here I'll go into settings real quick and show you. It's called yeah status weather bar well, not weather bar status bar weather seven and uh... you click enabled and then auto fetch the w o e i d uh... you can either edit custom but it just put it on auto and then you can change the temperature unit i have it on fahrenheit and uh... you can replace your car your carrier logo and the uh... update interval at that five minutes and you just click respring and it'll be the next one I'll be showing you guys is called Dath Keys. And uh let me go into settings. What this does is it allows you to uh edit stuff like keys and highlighted text, text and icon, highlighted keys, glow key glow and gray keys. But if you respring it and all that and you do that as you can see it's different it's got the colors I put on here so it's kinda cool sort of like color keyboard but at the same time not really so yeah the next app is called OXO 2 if you've heard of OXO then you should kinda get what I'm talking about but this is pretty cool and go into settings OXO2 put on the multi-center uh, merge multitasking control center uh, the quick switcher and hot corners you can do advanced options but I don't I don't look, look into that and uh... yeah that's it for that one the next one I'll be talking about is called Animer 7. Let's go right into that. It lets Animer lets you customize your banners, your notification banners, right, right here. So you have it slide from the right and you click show test banner. It slides from the right. Then you can have it fade in or in the, for the banner fade and then the banner zoom. That's just on default. I'm not. Sh hold on. This one work? Nope. I think I don't. I don't know why, but this one doesn't work because it says slide to the right and it's sliding to the left. That's weird. I'm not sure why. It's probably because I have the cracked version of this, so it doesn't work all that correctly. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Sorry if I didn't explain everything correctly, but I'll list everything in the description so you can check it out. And, uh, you don't have to, you can just look at the description when you go on a city or whatever. But, uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, subscribe and like, whatever, favorite. Yeah, this is Kickstart, uh, peace out.